You're that good. <laughs> nope, no attention at all, huh? Sure. Maybe if they're down here. Yeah. We'll wait for them. Yeah, this, uh, a lot of stuff has been done. Yeah. Control arms, tie rods. No. A lot of stuff. Brakes good. Okay guys, so we just finished this side. We just did the rotation. The reason why is because last week we tried doing the alignment because you guys remember we have a, a, a vibration driving around like 60 miles an hour. So we did the rotation um, on this car uh, on this side today. Um, and what I noticed is that the tires that were in the front, they were worn like really like unevenly on the inside. They were like wavy. So that can cause that and then this wheel is actually bent it has a bend in it somewhere here i checked that so right now it's going to be in the back so we just lift literally flip those two tires last week we performed the tire alignment because as you remember or the wheel alignment in the front because as you remember it was really bad uh the alignment literally the steering wheel was like all the way to the left and also we just checked right now today uh, it has brand new control arms and tie rods and centerling and everything like pretty much the whole suspension has been redone it has new sway bar links as well and yeah the first thing that we did like i said last week is we did the wheel alignment but that did not help at all um it still had it had actually a little bit less of a vibration at 60 miles an hour but there was still vibration present so today we're doing the tie rotation we're gonna swap out both sides and we will see if that cures the problem with the vibration if not we'll go more and we'll we'll figure it out but hopefully this fixes it and the previous owner said that he did the uh, tire balance uh, but i don't know how well it was done however this is the side that we're working on right now uh, i'm gonna jack it up and finish just swapping those two tires uh scott amazing owner of this the bmw is this the bmw is this the bmw is this the bmw is helping us out uh, but right here I'm, I'm gonna try to show you uh, I don't know if the camera will show you but the, it has it's literally like wavy it's really wavy and it's not looking good and these tires are from like you know seven years ago uh, so it would have to be replaced but they still have some tread left so and with this tire this wheel is okay I don't see any bends and we checked it on the inside as well However, we're just gonna swap them both and they're gonna go to the back. And we're gonna show you how you're supposed to jack up the car. With a jack, you're supposed to use this thick pad or block of wood or something to prevent anything, all the, the metal from bending. And then he's gonna put it on the pinch weld. And then over here, we have it jacked up already. This is how the jack stand is. You can see with the block of wood and then it protects the metal from bending and scratching anything that's the proper way of lifting cars and supporting them on jack stands that's the proper way cool and then this is going to go to the front and then we're going to take that tire off and it's going to go to the back And over here, everything is looking amazing, clean. The brakes are good. They, they really took care of this car. It's so awesome. And this car actually has the rear brake uh, linings too, like the sensors. That's pretty cool. New strut looks like, or fresh. CV boots good. So looking at these wheel weights i'm pretty sure they did a bad job balancing these because you're not supposed to have wheel weights right there right there and then right here and wheel weights right there this is i'm pretty sure they did a bad job balancing these wheels but we're gonna do the rotation right now and hopefully that cures the problem with this vibration we'll see
If not, we will dig more into this. Okay, we're gonna be doing oil change here shortly. And also I fixed the message on the cluster. It's not showing coolant level sensor fault anymore. Underneath there's actually a sensor connected to this, uh, it's mounted onto this uh, reservoir on the bottom and there's two uh, two can um one connector with two pins and those two pins they were actually loose uh they were not making good contact um so i crimped up those two pins and they're nice and snug right now on that uh, sensor and the cluster is reading properly so it's not showing any more messages uh, so that was go good the sensor itself is fine it's just uh, the two pins were loose on that sensor and that's why He's gonna start it up right now uh, so we can heat up this oil and then drain it. And yeah, we decided to put the center caps back on. How's it going? No more coolant level sensor message? Nope. Let's see. Down. Let's see if you're lying. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're that good. That's it. Amazing. Yeah, we're gonna let it heat up until it's uh, at, uh, you know, Operating temperature, we're going to shut it off and then drain the oil and change the filter. Yeah. Easy, right? Filters on top. Easy to take out. Mm -hmm. Hold that. Some more oil. Oh. It's usually on top. Same way? Or? Yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah, as you can see, this, uh, it seems like they changed the oil recently, but it's still it's a good idea to, that we're changing. That way you will know exactly when it was changed. So we've got new filter. Installing it right now. Like so. And then we're going to change those O-rings on the bolt and on the cap itself and reinstall it. And then later in like couple minutes we're gonna start draining the oil we've got new o-ring on this bad boy let her drain This guy as well. So he's cleaning the bolt now and preparing it to put it back. The oil is all drained out. And we have some fresh oil for this baby. About to install it gonna be amazing fresh oil for this car this is the second bottle already so we gotta check the level cool. go ahead make sure that oil pressure light goes out when it starts. There you go, goes out. Cool. Make sure we have no leaks. Good. 
good. All right, shut it off. is still there. We're trying to take it uh, about, I would say, 60, 60 miles an hour or so. That's where you do the pull. Oh, that way? Yeah. Okay. There's plenty of space to go fast. Okay. But as you can see, guys, the wheel is straight. The alignment is all good now. Great. So we didn't film the alignment part, but we have to get it done fast. All right, here's where you can do it. with the tires that wheel the left that wheel that's on the left uh, rear it used to be in it used to be let's see it used to be on the left front so right now we're gonna try it again that bent wheel that's in the back right now it's uh, it used to be in the front so let's see what happens they balance those wheels because they're they're pretty bad uh, there's like wheel weights all over the wheel uh, I don't like the way it, it is Such a 
such a fun car. <laughs> I'm jealous of you, Scott. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's amazing. You should get one. I know, buy, right? Buy three series. I will. I will get a Beamer. I'll buy a lot of Beamers in the future mm -hmm. when the life allows. But I will have Beamers. Oh, look at this go, guy! Bro. Look at this! <laughs> Uh, it's a really fun car. So what I would say we could try is we could try to do another balance for this yeah. car. And then I would definitely check the drive shaft. I would definitely check those, the flex disc in the front. Uh -huh. And possibly a center support just to make sure that they're all good. Because the, if the center support is broken or wobbling, it's gonna, it can cause that as well. Uh -huh. So just a couple more checks we have to do, but there's a lot less vibration right now. That's what I felt. The alignment is awesome too. 